Welcome, welcome, Soul Family. We have a new deck to unwrap. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure this is a, a shadow deck or like a self-growth kind of deck here. Ooh, 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 what do we have? We have, ooh, mystical healing cards. So what I read is this was a, oh, and that's by uh, Rockpool. And... From what I can tell, this is definitely, um, or from what I read on the website, it's a, it's a shadow deck, or it kind of like has shadow definitions, uh, which I always like. Oh, here we go. I'm like, where's my little opener? Where's my opener? Which is not like a real opener. It's either a lighter <laughs> or um, like a sewing pin here. <laughs> Because I like to make it hard. And I always forget to get scissors or something. Okie dokie, here we go. Maybe. Nails, help me out. Oh, here we go. Yay! Okay. Yes, get all that. I know some people just like the sound of that. Okay. So rock pool, mystical healing, reading cards. I really can't do much about the light because it's kind of like daylight here. <laughs> and so I'm trying really hard to, I don't know, fix the light. But anyways, um, mystical healing, reading cards by Ina, Ina Segal. Decent size box. Again, these are not my favorite. However, I don't see a problem with it like... Standing up on like that on my shelf, except for everything on my shelf is like this, and I can access it that way. But anyways, I mean, everybody has their preference. This actually sits on a bookshelf like a book, so okay. Um, but my opinion, box is too big for the deck. <laughs> I don't like these boxes. They're just not my favorite. All right, and then sometimes they end up in wood boxes because it's just easier for me to manage. All right, maybe I should put that like, I don't know, there so we know what this is. Um, in the meantime, we got a nice thick book. Ooh, color pages. Um, ooh, lots of, I love this. Choice one, what is possible? Lesson, outcome. What is possible? Lesson, outcome for choice number two. I really like it when books have spreads. It's so important um, because they took those things into consideration when they were making the cards. You know what I mean? Okay. So, um. It also has actions to overcome, um, <laughs> so, or to kind of like do what's in the card. So I really like that. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll read one of those um, wonderful, beautiful definitions that I'm really actually very excited to see. Here is the, oops, let's zoom this in. Ooh, there we go, super zoom. Okay, so this looks like, I don't know, Leonardo da Vinci's Chicken Scratch. It's got like angles and stuff on here. Let's see if it'll see that. It's got like, I can't even call them numbers, but you know, squares and circles and like schematic drawings or some like writing in here. So old mystic knowledge. <laughs> All right. Um, it does have numbers the lower, uh, left-hand corner here. It does have a number. Ooh, can I get the whole thing in there? I'm going to have to just zoom out slightly. Oops, zoom out slightly. There we go. Um, okay, so access, access clear thinking is this one. And there's like a labyrinth behind his head and like a ball of yarn. Um, so clouds in the distance. Um, before we kind of really get started on this, um, the cardstock is okay. Um, if it was smaller, I'd be worried about bending um, bending them. Um, if I just use kind of like another card as comparison, like this one's definitely stiffer than this one. You kind of see the ply in there. Okay, moving on. So this one is access clear thinking to assimilate life experience. This almost looks like play, right? In, I almost feel like assimilating your um, inner child and learning how to play as an adult is really what I get from this card. Um, awaken your vulnerability. Ooh, that is a huge one. All right, I'm going to just read that one because I'm doing that my own self right now. <laughs> 
So let's let's read this because there's so much symbolism symbolism in this. There's like an angelic figure here. Um, it's female in nature. Um, there's like a halo above. There's some. There's a flying cupid uh, cherub kind of thing here. There are people in masks. Um, so yeah, um, and then this weird frame around the legs. Um, this metal circle around the head, almost like it's staged for the theater. Um, awake, this is number three. Awaken your vulnerability. To be vulnerable with your feelings requires profound courage and a decision to break the hard shell of protection. Please excuse my dogs who are playing in the background. Um, okay. Requir uh, to be vulnerable with your feelings requires profound courage and a decision to break the hard shell of protection that keeps you separated, isolated, and afraid of others. Vulnerability connects you to the most hidden aspects of your soul. In this exploration, you have the possibility of discovering your most intimate, delicate, creative, surprising aspects. This may require you to develop more understanding and compassion for yourself and your life's journey. Whilst... It's important to keep certain people at a distance. There are others who are already in or about to come into your life. These people can hold the space for you to step into a soft, honest, gentle exploration of your heart melody. If you refuse and keep suppressing your feelings, you will become exhausted, numb, frustrated, and cold. It's time to warm your heart and start to be more in touch with what's happening inside your body. What pain are you holding? in your lungs, heart, throat, and kidneys in particular. Action. Take some time out. Place your hands on your chest. Become aware of how you are breathing into this area. It is easy, or is it easy to breathe or difficult? Envisage, en, envisage, envision, um, that you have protect, protective barriers around your heart. Now imagine that there is a purple flame in front of you. Play some music that touches you and start to slowly peel away those energetic layers. Place them into the purple fire until you feel more confident and open to share. And that is all of that. But look at this. Break down to a... Okay, okay. We're just going to keep going. Awaken your vulnerability. Become more objective. Break addiction. There's like a little new egg here. She's got like the birth of a, a phoenix kind of out of the egg and she's uh, using every ounce of her strength sleeping here on the floor trying to protect it. Okay, contemplate death and beyond. So we have like a, it's almost like a hierophant figure, but also um, reminds me of the high priestess. Um, she's got a key. She's blessing you. She's got the dove of peace above her head. I want to say like there's a crown here. I don't want to say it's a crown of thorns, um, but it looks like vines, made of vines, um, creating boundaries. Um, each of these people um, has kind of like, this person has a reflection. Of the, per of the person she wants to project. And this person has just a full-on fake mask. I don't know. Number seven, create boundaries. Number eight, develop stronger concentration. Fire for passion. Fire around the, the third eye. Channeling passion. Um, all seeing eyes up here. All right. Nine, embrace meditation. Oh, there's lots. There's lots here. Ennoble your soul. Oh, and it has the ace of cups here. Or the, Oh, that's so weird. Um, It has an ace of hearts. And then over here, if I flip it over. Oh my gosh, this has got a, a reverse. This is like angels and demons. Um, this is number 10, almost like the Wheel of Fortune, right? Because it turns upside down. So we have this angelic figure with the candle lighting away. And then we have, um, I almost want to say an ordinary person here. Um, but here it has um, it has diamonds in the upper right, uh, right hand, or on the, when it's upside down, it has diamonds in the upper right hand corner, um, which is pentacles, uh, eight, cups is hearts. So um, but anyways, it says, ennoble your soul. I guess be who you are in the moment, good or bad. Um, examine your integrity. Um, so who's pulling your strings? It's kind of like a puppet guy here. The strings she's holding like puppeteer um, crosses. Um, yeah. Experience rebirth. It's almost like a time lapse photo. Um, or like when you were, I don't know, when I was younger. So like imagine when you had like regular exposure pictures and the, you get to the end of the camera and it's almost like you get three pictures in one where it's just kind of like moving forward. It kind of looks like that here. Um, so that's number 12. Um, there's like the number 64, there's a one, there's a three, there's a five, there's an A. Lots of symbolism throughout the cards. She is also being pulled by strings and gears. Um, she is balancing on the top of an egg that has the number six. Looks like a six. It says explore your ancestry. Um, so this is interesting. The inner workings, I guess. What are the inner workings? Where do we come from? Okay, focus on higher truths. 
number 14. And we've got like a clock and we've got a spade here. Um, so this would be kind of associated with the swords card. Um, swords is often truth, mind, thought. Um, and I would even say, you know, speaking, but it's really thinking. It's thinking. Okay. 15, ground yourself. You can see um, in, she's almost looks like a temperance or even uh, the star card. Um, but she's, she has a rich inner life here. It's a no 16. I mean, that just looks like, no, <laughs> I ain't doing this no more. All right. Let's see. It's a yes. She's leaping forward. Even her spirit is leaping forward. Her mask is leaping forward and has figure B here. Um, so 17, 18, learn from karma. 19, listen to your guardian angel. 20, listen to your intuition. 21, love your body. 22, minimize guilt. 23, practice positivity. 24, recognize divine timing. 25, release fear. 26, relieve anxiety. 27, relinquish control. 28, reverse disassociation. 29, show self-respect. 30, step into the unknown. This is a brutal deck, holy hell. Uh, 31, stop breaking agreements. 32, take positive action. 33, temper your criticism. 34, transform anger. 35, unlock your heart. That heart looks like a straight up Trojan horse. 36, you have support. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Super, super, super happy. Um, really looking forward to working with it. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, if you have, uh, if a particular card resonated with you, um, let me know which one it was. If there's a deck that you'd like to see um, that you haven't seen online or you'd just like me to do it, um, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can't um, do an unboxing of that particular deck. But so far, I really like this deck. I'm really excited to use it and I think um, um, it'll be useful in my upcoming readings. Thank you very much for watching. Have a beautiful day.